Buying a used car can be a great way to save money, but it's important to make sure you're getting a quality vehicle. This video will provide you with a comprehensive guide to test driving a used car, including a checklist of things to look for and tips for a successful evaluation. Drive the car at different speeds, including highway speeds. This will give you an idea of how the car performs at different speeds and how it handles on the highway. It's important to make sure the car is comfortable and safe to drive at high speeds. Test the brakes, both gently and abruptly. Braking performance is a critical safety feature, so it's important to test the brakes in both normal and emergency scenarios. This will help you determine if the brakes are working properly and if they provide enough stopping power. Drive over rough roads or railroad tracks. This will give you an idea of how the car handles different road conditions and if there are any issues with the suspension or steering. Pay attention to any unusual noises or vibrations that might indicate a problem. Look for any unusual noises or vibrations while driving. Listen for any unusual sounds that might indicate a problem with the engine, transmission, or other mechanical components. Similarly, feel for any vibrations or shaking that might indicate an issue with the wheels, tires, or suspension. Make sure the car is warm, as this can affect its performance, cold engines can have a different performance compared to warm engines, so it's important to make sure the car is driven for a sufficient amount of time to reach operating temperature. Inspect the engine and look for any strong smells, open the hood and take a good look at the engine. Check for any signs of fluid leaks or drips and look for any unusual smells, such as burning oil or coolant, that might indicate a problem. Check for any signs of fluid leaks or drips under the car, look under the car and check for any fluid leaks or drips. Make sure the fluid is not oily and looks or feels like water, as this should be normal condensation from the AOC system. Check the clutch engagement point, if you're test driving a manual car, it's important to check the clutch engagement point. It should be somewhere in the middle of the clutch pedal travel. If it's right at the top or right at the bottom, this could indicate the need for clutch repairs in the near future.